Okay, <clears throat> that's a sixteenth too long, so what I'm gonna do is that I'll push the blade a little bit there. So what I'm doing there is basically I'm putting the blade down, pushing the board against it, and then putting it up, and in that way I've, I've moved over about a sixteenth of an inch. And so now I'm I'll cut it again. So it's always nice to cut these a little bit long and then double check it and then you can always cut it that 16th off. It's still about a 16th too long. So push down, push the blade over, lift it up. Perfect. So go ahead and carry that one over here. We're gonna put this in right in, right in between these two here and put it flat. And I think that we'll put it back to the inside. Yeah, we'll put it back to the inside of that one. So we'll put it even with this line right here. Okay, so that's gonna hold the two skids apart. So if we're ever pulling it, have chains wrapped around it or whatever we're pulling it, the skids are not gonna be pressured to go together. This will hold them apart. It gives it a little bit of stability here. Now I think we'll end up doing the same thing at the other end. And then in the middle, it seems that these skids are not quite the right distance apart. So we might be able to spread them. If we cut another piece just like this and put in the middle, we might be able to spread the these skids apart so they're equal distant. What we're doing here is we're gonna go ahead and cut some of these older Home Depot two by sixes to 90 inches long. And we're gonna sister them alongside some of these two by sixes that we cut that have really big knots in them. This of course weakens that quite a bit. So we put this one alongside this one, sister them together. That's gonna to add a lot of strength there. Okay, so there we've got a good heavy two, two inch by six inch cross support there. Okay, so I pulled a string from end to end on this on this skid here. And right here in the middle, we are three eighths of an inch off. So that means that one over there must be about five, five eighths or so, so off. What do you think, Johnny? You think this is uh, worth messing with that we try to spread these out or just leave them the way they are? Yeah. Leave them? So we need just to put a piece in here that's whatever the size is here. So we have the spreaders on both ends and in the middle, and we spread the middle out so that it sits pretty much, the string that I ran from end to end now is pretty nice straight here. So I'm assuming that both of these beams are pretty straight because they're equal distance. And we've got spreaders in the middle on both ends. So now it'll be a matter of seeing about getting a couple posts and seeing if we can put some posts up. So I want to get the posts up before we lay all these all these uh, joists out.
You couldn't get a much more perfect day than today. A uh, little overcast, about 60 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. Perfect working weather. So this is what we're working on today, setting these beams. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to, uh, we went ahead and roughly plumbed the beams. And what I'm using now is our laser level to really dial it in so that we get them, so we get them pretty accurate. I already did it this way and it, this is perfectly plumb this way. This way over here, not so much. You can see right here, that's about, I don't know if you can see it, it's about three and seven eighths right there. And up here, it's about four and an eighth. So it's about a quarter of an inch off. So I'm gonna tap it over just a little bit and we'll get it dialed in. Okay, so I went ahead and just re-screwed that. And now, it's really not all that far off, but nice to have it, have it be nice and straight. So there you go, three and seven eighths, three and seven eighths. That's pretty close. So interestingly enough, this one ended up getting set at three and seven eighths over also, and it's perfect, three and seven eighths from top to bottom. So that's pretty close. Now I guess we're gonna go ahead and sight down here and see. They look like they're pretty close. Pretty close. Okay, so this uh, this post here is straight up and down or plumb this way now. And boy, if we sight the sight the two of them together, they're pretty close. So now I know that these two corners are good. So then I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put some stringers across the back here. And then we'll make sure that each one of those is the same distance top to bottom so that this distance from here to there is the same top to bottom. So then they should all line up and be plumb. Okay, so I have that connection up there made. And so those posts, this post here is equidistance from that post, 140 and three quarters, center to center. So that, this should be nice and plumb. Now I'll go ahead and figure out what this one is. But for some reason or another, we're almost three inches off. This is supposed to be right in the center, but that's a 140 and three quarters going that way, and it's 138 going that way, going that way. So I'm not quite sure how we screwed up on that. That's two and three quarter inch difference. I guess it doesn't make too much difference. I'd sure like to know how I screwed up. Okay, so we have the rim joists on. All the joists are down, so now we need to just double up. Any of those that have got the orange dot on them, I wanna double those up, because they either have big knots in them or they're gonna go underneath the uh, supports for the uh, sawmill. So we're making progress here. 
Uh, but I think I'm going to have to go down to Home Depot and get some adhesive for putting these together. square and plumb. This is our progress today. We got the beams or the posts all squared up or plumbed up. So the posts are all plumb. Got some cross braces on there. We got all the um, joists in and nailed down and doubled up where we needed to double up. And center row blocking rim joist and I think that tomorrow we are ready to go ahead and start laying some plywood and also we need to go mill some 4x6s for the beams up here. <laughs> 